justifying climate change by reduction of greenhouse gases emissions, meeting rural energy needs, protecting the environment, and generating gainful employment are some of the biggest challenges facing most economies in the world today. Many countries all over the world are working hard to have their vehicles first to run on biodiesel, the tree-borne oil. Kenya is no exception. However, through several initiatives by the Green Africa Foundation, a Kenyan organization focusing on environmental issues, these challenges are day by day becoming overcome. For instance, the Jatropha Carcass Biodiesel Project raises hopes to Kenyans as the production and quality productivity of the plants produced in the biodiesel is highly encouraged. Green Africa Foundation is an environmental institution that was started uh, way back in uh, 2000, but even much longer in terms of uh, the founders' interest in environmental matters. And uh, we engaged to start with uh, residents and uh, people from the neighborhood uh, of Kitui putting them together to plant trees because of the degradation of the forest. As you realize, most of the charcoal comes from uh, Ukambani region. And the requirement for the same goes high on a daily basis. But there is no effort commensurate to the consumption that is being put on the ground. We intend to educate the common uh, Mwananchi on the ground on what it means. And the other big thing that came up is uh, on issues of environment. You realize you're saying that, okay, let's plant trees or let's stop uh, cutting down trees for firewood. And the biggest challenge actually came on uh, what option are you going to be able to to, to give, to, to substitute the wood and uh, wood uh, for biogas and all that. And I managed uh, in the little way from uh, my home, it went to the family, it grew over and they would uh, stop the habits of uh, cutting down trees. But it reached a point they were saying, come on, you're telling us not to cut trees. So what are we going to use for firewood and uh, and uh, uh, our, our livelihood for that matter because of uh, the charcoal that we are selling. I thank God out of a trip that I made to Japan that uh, we started talking to some professors and I gave them the situation on the ground and uh, the issue of Jatropha came up, biodiesel. And uh, later on to come and started doing research one after the other to see how practical it is, engaging scientists, engaging farmers, engaging different uh, stakeholders and therefore came up with the Jatropha carcass. It started with a few seedling, seeds that I carried actually from all the way, uh, which was supposedly from, uh, from uh, Thailand. Later on, some portion of it that I got from uh, India. And uh, later on, only to come and find actually the tree has been around. It's been around in Kenya, it's been around in uh, some places, being used for different purposes. There are actually farmers who are using it uh, as a crop, uh, cropping for, for vanilla and others who are using it. But the issue now came in that what is already on the ground actually could be different in terms of yield. And therefore we embarked now on a different study to try and get the best yield, the best plant and trees that uh, would give, uh, that would give uh, good uh, results in terms of yield. Uh, of, of, of the oil, uh, oil content per seed, because uh, in some countries we have uh, Jatropha oil going for uh, up to about uh, between 35 and uh, 53 percent oil content. It is during this time of petrol diesel shortage and hiking prices that the world is going the biodiesel way. Jatropha carcass also creates a system that takes a real rural development approach. By planting Jatropha hedge, roaming animals are kept away from firms. The oil from its seed provides lighting and as fuel in special engines. Soap production and its medicinal aspects are added advantages. Jatropha carcass has been favored by the Kenyan climate due to its ability to adopt itself in low and marginalized areas. Need for low amount of annual rainfall. 
easy to establish a relatively fast growth, hence short production period. Ease in seed production in that it can be intercropped with other plants without causing any damage. It is a crop that should have been you know, introduced to this country as of yesterday. Uh, the advantages of this crop, as I said, first, uh, the versatility in uh, the areas it can grow in our country in terms of uh, distribution, you know, the other areas. Secondly, I know the kind of uh, products we expect from such a, a plant in terms of uh, the fuel, in terms of even uh, spawning industrial production, you know, of chemicals, soaps and other chemicals from this kind of plant. And of course, supplying uh, fuel, much needed fuel in a very cheap way, you know, for our rural communities, for lighting, for cooking. The efforts by the Green Africa Foundation to keep the environment green has been awarded with the organization receiving a letter of accreditation on issues of Jatropha carcass production and the organization's chairman, Isaac Kalua, being awarded with a head of state commendation as an environmental crusader. With Kenya boasting the Nobel Prize win by Professor Wangari Mathai on an environmental basis, support from all angles to preserve the environment through planting of trees has been highly observed. Those who have land on which to farm should utilize it fully and also apply new farming methods to improve productivity. Tree planting should be a part of our farming culture. I encourage everyone to plant trees every planting season, every year. We cannot have enough trees in this country. Through Jatropha Caucus projects, Green Africa is emphasizing on achieving goals such as making a significant contribution to the national effort in maintaining biodiversity and provision of ecological services, sustained productivity for both local community need and commercial utilization, improve living standards of the local residents through encouraging and facilitating in the production of the plants. Uh, for me, it's just to encourage Kenyans to get to this because it is real. It is real. It is workable. If we uh, well, reach 5%, for example, we can save a lot of, uh, of uh, import of the fossil oil, diesel oil. We can stop. And also, we can stop the carbon emission. Other key players in support to Green Africa in managing the biodiesel concept through Jatropha Carcass includes the Kenyan government through the Ministry of Energy and the Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources, Hiroshima University, Japan, Earthband, LLC, Japan, Bamburi, Lafarge, Yumbani Children's Home, Kitui, Kenya Airport Authority, the University of Nairobi and the local farmers. Jatropha propagation has been practiced in other African countries such as Zambia, Zimbabwe, Uganda, Ghana, South Africa, Senegal, Tanzania, and Mali. The market is growing and shall grow at 13% for the next 30 years. 13% for the next 30 years. Many countries in the West are going uh, green diesel, and uh, Japan, we've just heard about it, and many others. So Kenya, in this region, and <coughs> Africa should start from here as a launching pad. And we appreciate countries in Africa who have already uh, moved a few notches maybe in the plantations uh, in Africa. And therefore, we should emulate what is being given to us. This is the future. This is the future for Africa.